Hello, greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancillon. Welcome to my channel. I started making those messages at 11.11 today, as usually, it's like a double digit numbers whenever I'm looking at my phone. Uh, and so we're already at the end of the cycle. The matrix is, is it is about to, to, to really, really starting a new cycle. It's very urgent to let go of the mind and to go into the heart, into the center with the creator. And so it's very, very, uh, very essential. And to, to surround yourself with the call on the presence of the masters, the angels, the archangels to, to protect you because when everything's going to crumble down, it's going to be uh, all the, the, the deepest beliefs of humanity is going to be, is, is going to be shattered. And so it's going to be a lot of people that are going to be completely, it's going to be all kinds of things that, that will happen. So, so it's about uh, creating the safety and protection for ourselves and, uh, and, and, uh, just continue to, 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 to stay center huh? because it's gonna it's it's all gonna it's all gonna crumble down and so we'll uh, it's gonna be a period of transition of revelations but we we're, we kind of we've been asking for this end of the program so we're really about to turn that page and on a personal level for it is very important to take care of your own personal life and focus on that it is so essential to remember, remind yourself you are an eternal being that took a temporary form. It is just a passing through here. And, and everything has value. Being here at this time is very essential. Your role is essential in the, in the fabrication of that which is coming. For life can feel very monotonous. It's not very exciting. It's mostly in those times. But understand that every desire is creative. When we desire something, we are assisting in the creation of that which is desired. When we complain about something that is not that is unjust or wrong we are assisting in the creation and we, we're saying we want justice we want the truth we want fairness we want we want transparency and so there is a mass awakening for, for it is important to love our dreams to have a dream everybody is born with a dream some people do not have given up on their dream and it's, it's some, some, in some way it's easier to give up on the dream than to, to want something and not having it <laughs> it's like more comfortable but it's very much understand that you, if you believe in your dream you have the expectation that they will come true and, and be excited about it um, although they, they will come when they will come depending on the dream we have to let go of the fear and the doubts about it in order to align with that which uh, the, which is the, the 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 creator's will which is the the realization of all our plans and wishes everything that has value in our life i am presence wants to support it so um so the shadows are serving just as much as the light. When there is a fear or a shadow, just say, what, what are you teaching me? What, what is, uh, why are you here? Uh, it's like uh, um, all is serving the higher self. But eventually the light will illuminate all of the darkness. We have to, to learn to seek it within and, and to tune in to, to eventually, when we find this inner divinity, we find joy and find balance, we find peace, we find harmony, we find abundance. And it is all part of that. So the spirit promise of the victory of the light will be fulfilled. Uh, it is no, I shouldn't doubt for one second. I'm going to pull a few cards. The, the, there is a triumph, the triumph of the light, and that is the, the observer. The past is purification. The purification has to continue all the way till the end, where we are now is intuition, listening more to the voice of the, the, the inner voice, the subtle voices, the, the light, what life is telling us. And what is coming in the future is enthusiasm. We're going to be very excited and enthusiastic. We've been waiting for certain breaks breakthroughs and, and when they come we, we have reason to be excited what we're working on now is, is the equilibrium is the, the it's the, one of the angels of the archangel Ariel is to find this balance and what is coming is the light the light will uh, will illuminate all the darkness but the darkness has to be shown and recognized before it can be eliminated for the plans of God are infallible, they are immortal, they are indestructible. There's never been any other possibility that the light would not win. It's just uh, sometimes it takes the time for... So. For 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 we have, sometimes we have to look at all the darkness in order to to find the light within the darkness, and um, and the more the dark elites accelerate their plans, the faster they will fall, and it's like they're accelerating towards their own their, their fall. For the new earth will be created out of the best dreams, the best vision, the best uh, the, the best ideas, thoughts, visions of humanity. Yet there is a counterbalance by the the galactic and, and intergalactic community will counterbalance the power of during the shift and transformation that is coming because uh, no matter how many millions of people that are awakened light workers star seeds whatever we call we call ourselves way shower uh, teachers of light uh, that are awakened on the planet it's not enough to counterbalance the billions of people that are not awakened so they will create this counterpoint and balance so 
just stay centered within yourself and uh, understanding also the higher self knows how to push our buttons to activate the fear within us to activate the doubts and fear because it it, it needs to um we need, to, we, need, we need to learn to, when we have a problem, something that's completely unsolvable or out of our reach, either we empower the problems or we, we put the problem in the capable hands of God. It is, a, it is learning to put everything in the hands of God. And so... Um, for, for the, the whole plans of the fifth dimension, the new earth is supervised by the ascended wisdom, the ascended masters and other beings that are, that are supervising these plans. They are the, the, they are the, they are beings that have lived on the earth, karmic life, and then eventually they found the freedom to the seventh dimension. And so call on your guides is very, um, and, uh, and, and then because what we, we want to focus on what we don't want to focus on on how the universe will make it happen but we we have to continue to focus on on what we want and as soon as we feel the need for the change we feel the need for for something better we, we are it is the ascension it is really the just the, the intention creates the ascension so continue to work with trust and develop this compassion understand we're getting a lot of assistance from the invisible world. I'm going to pull a few more cards. For the, the, higher, the, the higher plans of, of our soul, is, is, uh, so we have this very clear plan of what we want. And, uh, and sometimes we drop the, the, we drop the towel. Uh, we're like, oh, it's like, pff, I'm, I'm not making it or whatever. But, um, but uh, the spirit does not forget. The soul does not forget. As soon as we return to a normal frequency, that is, uh, it picks it up uh, and reminds us that we're here. We, have, we made agreement with the karmic boards. We're kind of late in the program. We, we've kind of created delays, but, but we, we, we came here to, to fulfill certain things and they need to be fulfilled. So we have to let go of resistance in order for it to, to happen with more grace and ease. Remember, I am will, I am love, I am wisdom, I am the will of God, I am the love of God, I am the wisdom of God. And the great I am, the great I am is supporting all that is that has true meaning within us. And so, um, for me personally, I'm getting more discipline, huh? a little bit more discipline for Todd, the master, is a friend, of my, a friend and master, uh, taught me. For me, it's like uh, no temptation equal, equal peace of mind. Um, resisting all temptation equal peace of mind. So, so I'm working towards that. Huh? Um, for we were given the time to to integrate all this light. For all those things are very valuable, meaningful. All the things that that I'm talking about, all the people are talking about, that you're talking about when you're bringing talking about your light. Um, but but the mass population will not have this timeline line and huh? this time zones. They're gonna have to integrate. They have to. They're gonna have to to go through the the integration in a very fast pace yes the opportunities were given to everybody equally it's just a matter of, um, of, of just uh, but having done this work will be able to assist the the, the rest of humanity as, as they will need it for the, the the observer is nothing is better than your home to, to to move into a situation where we feel comfortable within our body and our and our life for now it's like the highest wisdom is the understanding the world of transition to understand that um, it's in between worlds what we need to uh, to understand the highest wisdom. What we need to understand is why is why. It's like the, there is a the, sometimes we have to drop the questions uh, for for the for the the, the mental is a bridge between the material and the spiritual. I'm sorry, I cannot answer the phone. Uh, the br bridge between the material and the spiritual. When the material and spiritual are aligned, like on paradise, the, the mind is not necessary to understand things. But here is like very often the spiritual and the material are not aligned. So the mind has to intervene to figure it out, to, to bridge the material and spiritual. What we need to do is a, a new angle, the Archangel Samuel. Oh. It came in, but it's a, it's a different card. It's the observer. So it's, it's finding this new angle also. And the observer is to still remain neutral, to remain neutral, to remain balanced, to remain the, the compassionate observer. And the outcome is the, the time of departure. There is really a departure, a new life that is before us for the... For the, the 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 polarity there is some people that there is a trap we don't want to be polarized into the fourth dimension positive or negative it's like there's some people channel that are well, i'm not 
not criticizing them, but for them, they have this vision of the polarization. We want to be polarized positively. In the no, we want to achieve the fifth dimension, the integration of unity. For there is still polarity in fifth and sixth dimension. It's only on the seventh dimension that there is no longer polarity. But the, the, the negatively oriented fifth and sixth dimension, it doesn't mean they're negatively oriented. It just means they're self-serving. And when positively oriented civilization are serving to self, serve, serving to others rather than serving to self, they they are not uh, they are not prone to to conflict battle and conquest even if they are neg if they are, their service to self oriented all the galactic wars and battles happen on the fourth dimensional field this is really where the the where it happens. So we want to bypass the fourth dimension. We want to move directly into the field of love that connects us all. And so uh, <clears throat> so we don't want to be trapped into this, this battle between dark and light. And it is important. For uh, for we, we we are called to to work as guide and healers and huh, sometimes so uh, but um, when when I do sessions I try to encapsulate enough information for a few weeks for months maybe to to be integrated but but sometimes we need more than one um, session it's like when when we're working through this process so but um, so, so it's like everybody will find what they need when they need it. and you have to follow your heart your intuitions also I realize that YouTube is putting advertisement on my videos like three days after they're made since i have thousands of videos i can so remove them all so that uh, because I, I i would much rather control the advertisement if i have no choice but to advertise i would rather control it but google is not my main uh, server so they're not allowing me to even access to that so i'm not it's not a, it's not a priority but i'm gonna have eventually to make a decision uh, about that is so i remove all the videos or i can control the, the advertisement on it if i have no choice so i will probably find new platform as well in the future i'm going to show a few paintings to see the progress report so this is a painting that is um that is pretty much complete it's about the super the seven super universe of Ovonton with Uversa the central sphere and with the 10 major sectors and the 1000 minor sectors uh, we, we part of the fifth major sector the third minor sector so we're like on the edge of the Milky Way here and um, and this is about one one trillion inhabited planets and so this, this is how huge the, the, the spiritual organization those are on a very high celestial frequency and um, and so th there is seven super universe of time and space. Those paintings are not quite finished, but I thought I'd show it to illustrate it. There is the Paradise Center, the seven. This is all the Paradise Avona, the central universe that's completely invisible from space. And there are the seven super universes that go into the, the first ring of, of of galactic families that go around in the counterclockwise around the central universe. This will be as the seven super universe. And so each of them have about one trillion inhabited world, one hundred thousand local universe. And this represents the the first level of outer space, for there are only those seven clusters of galaxies that are that are part of the time and space process, and there are four levels of, 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 of universal realities that will open up once all of that will be complete. And on the first level of outer space, the, the, the celestial astronomers have been able to, uh, to detect... Um, 10, over 10,000 clusters that are bigger than the super universe. So it's like represented here. The, and this is the, the first level of outer space. And there are, there are three other levels that get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's like, and, and they're going clockwise around, around the central universe. Um, when the second level will go counterclockwise. And so, so it's like the universe is actually a baby. Yeah? It's very, very, it's very old, much older than we think, but it's actually a baby. And so those are cosmological models. This is a painting also that's pretty much finished, I think. It's a poem of Charles Baudelaire. Uh, and I thought I'd show some. Um, th this is a painting that's just starting uh, about uh, the, there is just the structure. It's uh, on, on divinity, the seven great families of spirit beings. This I'm going to put another structure. It probably will be also. A, this is a background for the seven families of spirit beings. Well, actually, it was like that. I think. Yes. Um, and then, uh, then this is also. It's gonna. It's gonna become. Uh, for this, it's not very presentable, but it's, it's about the seven families of spirit beings. Where, where the, those are subjects that I'm, uh, I'm already uh, comfortable with. It's like a, it's delicate to move into a new subject until I'm set up in studio. Although this one is kind of funny. It's like started this painting, and it, it looks like a rhinoceros, and it's like this one of them. 
and uh, like a dark tone here. Or, uh, I'm not really sure. I'm going to go very slow on that because it, it's kind of an interesting painting as, uh, as it just started. <coughs> well, I thank you very much for liking, sharing, commenting and subscribing for your donations. If you want a private session, um, you can send me an email. I'm going to pull one more card. I'm going to sing a song to... I wanted to wish you a good uh, good day, a good week. And for this, I feel it's tremendous breakthroughs that are just about to happen. And, and it's the end of the matrix as well. But it is about a personal life that's like trumps everything else, as far as uh, I know. And so um, it's, a, it's a song that reminds us not to worry about anything. It's called Three Little Birds. Don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright Singing don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing is gonna be alright Rise up this morning, smile at the rising sun Three little birds pitch by my doorstep Singing sweet songs of melody pure and true Saying, this is my message to you. Singing, don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Singing, don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Rise up this morning, smile at the rising sun. Three little birds. Pitch by my doorstep, singing sweet songs of melody pure and true, saying this is my message to you. Don't worry about a thing, cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Singing don't worry about a thing, cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Or everything's going to be all right. If we tune into the divinity, the, the, inner, the inner center, we have to stay within the center and let go of the mind and be ready for, for tremendous change. It will be surprising. Spirit likes this suspense, this surprise. And so the card of the day is divine conduct. So it's about finding the tribe, finding those people we are complementary with, the friendship, the new friends that can come in, new co collaboration, new, new association. It's the Archangel Sandalphone. Looking for meaning in your life. Envision a different approach. Surround yourself with friends or masters that are proven of great wisdom. So call on the masters to surround you and call on the masters that you know, that you like, to, to always, they're always there, always available. So, and do them. It's not because you call on them once that they, 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 for they will be here, but it's about we need to reinforce this presence of this collective presence of the angels, the archangels, the masters, and our guides. That, that it, so they, they can solidify their presence within our life and we'll traverse this process and we'll be, there'll be so much joy and happiness and, and freedom at the end of the, at the end of the, the we're closing a cycle, this the transition cycle, then there will be a healing cycle and then we're going to find this, uh, this, this great point of freedom. But we can already find the freedom now. For, for it is all happening. Well, thank you very much. Wish you a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Namaste.